So hi guys, this video is a continuation to my machine learning playlist. So basically in this video, I'm going to teach you how to make your own reinforcement learning game. Alright, before that, let me just recap the concepts of reinforcement learning. So basically reinforcement learning is also called as reward based learning, wherein you give your machine learning model rewards when it does something that you want it to do and you give it negative rewards when it does something that you don't want it to do. For example, if you're playing a game of chess, the state of a checkmate will be assigned a very high reward and other states will be assigned consequently lower rewards. So your machine learning model tries to figure out actions that lead to higher rewards. Now it's important to understand that these rewards are assigned by your environment. For example, in the environment of a chess game, the state of checkmate is assigned a higher reward by the environment, right? There are certain states in the environment that are more desirable and certain states that are not desirable right so when you're making a machine learning game or a reinforcement learning game you need to assign certain states higher rewards and, and certain states lower rewards now this task of making an environment has been made easier for us because there's a library called gym library which is specifically made for simulating models for example let me show you the so let me show you a library called gym which is specifically made for simulating reinforcement learning models so it is a toolkit and it has cool environments like your random ant agent where the ant tries to balance itself and the card pool environment where we have a card and a pool on top of it and the basic goal is to balance the pool on top of the card then we have lots of other games of pendulum and we also have pac-man and space invaders basically a lot of stuff to explore so the game of card pool is one such game which is very easy for us to figure out as beginners so that's why we're going to practice on that so so here's how the card pool environment looks like we have a card with a pole on top of it and our entire goal is to balance the pole on top of it by accelerating the card to the left or the right so the condition is that the pole should be more so the condition is that the pole should not be more than 15 degrees from the vertical if that happens then this episode ends and the card should remain within 2.4 units from the center as well right if these two conditions are not satisfied the game ends so let's try to make a reinforcement learning game for this so you need python installed and a library called gym so this is how, so this is how the code looks like we start off by importing the gym library after that we're importing the card pool environment using the gym.make function and we store that in a variable called env after that we're resetting the environment using env.reset function now we are performing a hundred iterations using a for loop because we want to see how our model is performing over a hundred iterations, right? So environment.render basically plots whatever environment it sees onto your console. Now the next step is very important because environment.step is the function that decides what action to take, right? You have to supply an action as an argument and it performs that onto your model, sees what change happens and prints out the change in the environment right so what we're doing is we have to supply an action so we use the environment.action space to get a list of all available actions in this case it's either accelerating towards the left or to the right and dot sample basically selects a random action right we're not specifying any action as of now so we're basically taking any random action and giving that to the environment and seeing how it performs right so environment.step basically takes an action as an input and outputs the current state of the environment right so let me just show you what the output looks like after the for loop ends we're closing the environment using environment.close so if i simply run this code so you can see that we have a cart that was trying to balance itself and after that it moved out of the frame right so we have a poor reinforcement learning model as of now right and you can see you have an array of four values this might seem confusing but these four values are simply the observations from the environment which have the velocity of the pole the x coordinate of the pole the angle of the pole as well right out of these four values in an array only the third one is important right the third one is the angle that the pole is making with the y-axis that is what we need to monitor to know if the card is falling off or not and how to take appropriate actions for that right so this was just to show you how the cart balancing pole works on its own right so let me show you the other code which we have trained
so this is the revised code right we have so, so this is the revised code the first line is the same we're importing the library and storing it into environment variable after that we're defining a function called basic policy what this does it tells your machine learning model what action to take depending upon what angle is the pole making with your y-axis right so the name of the function is basic policy and the argument is the observation from the environment which is the array of four values what we're doing is we're storing the third item third item has an index of two so we're storing the third item of observation array into angle because that is the angle that your pole is making now if the angle is less than zero we return zero which is basically accelerating towards the left and if the angle is greater than zero which means it's inclining towards the right then we accelerate towards the right which makes sense right if your pole is falling towards the right we have to accelerate towards the right so that because of inertia it comes back to its original position similarly if it's falling towards the left we have to accelerate towards the left right that's how basic inertia works now that we've given the model instructions on how to take an action given the angle, we are ready to run the iterations again. So what we're doing is making a for loop of 20 so that we can check how our model is performing in 20 different episodes, right? And then before starting every environment, every episode, we're resetting the environment and storing the observations from the environment in the variable called observation right and in every episode we're running 100 iterations right to see if the model is able to balance itself in 100 iterations environment.render again plots out the environment and shows it onto your screen then we call the basic policy function that we had defined supply our observation and store the resultant action in the variable call action right so earlier we were selecting a random action now depending upon the angle we're taking a suitable action right so we're providing that action to the function environment.step and environment.step basically returns four values number one is the observation right which is the array of four values number two is something known as reward right so that is the basis of reward based learning because this model assigns a plus one reward if the cart is running and a zero reward if your cart has stopped moving Right? So the entire goal of the machine learning model is to keep the cart moving and as long as the cart is moving, we have to balance the pool. Right? So that's why we define actions to take depending upon the angle and the machine learning model will try to keep the cart running as long as possible to achieve maximum rewards. Right? So it also returns environment.step also returns a variable called done which becomes true when your episode has ended which means either your pole has fallen or your cart has moved out of a given range right and info is certain other and in, in info is certain other information about your environment which is not necessary as of now so basically we're printing the observation so that we can see how our model is doing in each iteration and if at any point in between the loop done equals to true which means the episode has ended we write that episode has finished and we want to check how many iterations it took to reach that state right so we print t plus one and then we break out of loop and close the environment so let me show you how this machine learning is model how this machine learning model is performing so let me just run this code so you can see that the cart has now learned to balance the pole it's trying to balance itself and whenever it moves out of a yeah so earlier the cart was not able to balance itself it did not know what action to take now we have told it depending upon the angle you have to take this action right so that was the basics of reinforcement learning right you have a reward and the machine learning model tries to achieve or take actions that maximize the reward right so that was how basic reinforcement learning works you can move on to different environments like pac-man as well or balancing a pole on top of a mountain environment or space invaders that's it for this video i'll bring out more videos on this topic and on machine learning so if you did like this video do like share and subscribe and yeah if you have any doubts do, do leave that in the comments